we're going to talk about yeast infection rashes, specifically about rashes. The most common, common symptom of yeast infections would be red, inflamed, and itchy rashes that develop. Surprisingly, it does not have to be around the genitalia necessarily to be a yeast infection, although most yeast infections are around the genitalia. A yeast infection rash could develop anywhere around the body because yeast is all around your body, believe it or not. It just chooses to manifest itself in one particular area or another. Why can it show up anywhere? Like I said, because yeast attacks your entire body. It's most common around the genitalia, however, yeast can manifest itself anywhere. And not just in rashes, there's actually thrush, which is another name for yeast, in the mouth and eyes, candida, again another name for yeast, in finger and toenails, etc. So there's lots of places and actually a lot of different names for it as well. What to do? Assuming you're dealing with a rash specifically because there are several other symptoms of yeast infections and because the title of this slide was for rashes specifically, there are some natural remedies that can soothe the pain. But once you've soothed the pain, the real work begins. You need to kill the rest of the yeast, the stuff that you cannot see. It's important that after you treat the symptom, you have to treat and resolve the problem. The natural remedy for soothing, however, which is uh, number one on your list, I'm sure, would be raw honey. Make sure that the honey is raw, pure, unheated, and unprocessed honey. You're probably not going to find that at a local health food store, but or excuse me, at a local grocery store, but you will find it at a local health food store. It's a proven antibacterial, antiviral, and antibiotic, believe it or not. It's also a powerful antioxidant source. Take a large amount of honey and spread over your infected area. Let it saturate for five minutes and then take a bath to clean up. You'll find relief almost instantaneously, provided that this is a rash caused by yeast infection. But wait! <laughs> you still have yeast. Suing the rash does not solve your problem. You must attack the root of the problem. Even if your rash goes away, you still have yeast in your body. If you attack the root of the problem, that will ensure that you will not have recurring infections. You can get more info on both soothing your problem, which is very important, I don't mean to lessen that, but also healing it in the long term by going to candidayeasttreatment.net. That's www.candida, C-A-N-D-I-D-A, yeast, Y-E-A-S-T, treatment, T-R-E-A-T-M-E-N-T, dot net, N-E-T. Make sure you put dot net. Candida Yeast Treatment has a ton of information there for you. It's got several informational videos about both what to do, simple home remedies that are natural and harmless to treat your pain, to soothe your symptoms, but also what to do to get rid of that excess candida or yeast that's still lurking in your body, ready to make another infection appear. So make sure you do your research, go to candidayeasttreatment.net and see what they can do for you as far as finding out what to do to both soothe and heal your problem. Best of luck.